well this is another airdrop that we have right now on the dsc network and i think i have to make a video i, I have to make a video for this because i feel like you it's going to give a lot of guys a lot of issue all right because it personally gave me issue as well all right so let me just make this video follow it and um, do the task it's also a retroactive uh airdrop and what they expect you to do is they want you to interact with their system all right it's a protocol that provides uh lending of uh, services uh you know borrowing services and many other things just like our local bank all right so now the first thing you need to do is that you need to connect your wallet make sure that you are on the psc network before now that's not today so I'm connected, simple as that, then you need to get token, but the only thing here is that I've requested token about less than 24 hours before, so because of that, I wouldn't be able to, you know, to request it again, so you just simply toggle on that, then you, once you are done with that, you get all these values, you have your 100, USD, you have your BUSD, you have your USDT, and you have blah 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 and the likes. So, um, I'm going to be going to the dApps now where the real work is, right? So, now there are a lot of things that you need to be to, to do on the dApps, on their uh, like on their dApps. One of them is uh, you need to mint. You're going to be needing to redeem. You will need to uh, supply and withdraw. You will need to borrow and repay. So those are these things that you get to do and you interact with their platform. I would have left it like this and you just go on. But let me just finish what I started. All right. So and uh, normally if you minted. I mean, okay, okay, let me redeem first. I'm not supposed to redeem first, but I'm out of USD, so that is why I'm converting it. So, redeeming is more like on minting to the usual uh, 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 token or anyhow you want to put it or whatever. So, now I'm on the mint. The first thing that you need to do and they expect you to do is that they want you to mint. Though it, 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 it has not finally on meet by this time because of the network, the, you know, it has to confirm maybe 10 times or 5 times on the blockchain, blah blah blah, but all those things I'm not quite interested in them. So, you just see what I just uh, did, I'm converting, I have 0 0.6 uh, BUSD left and I want to meet it to DUSD directly without having to swap. So I so that's just what I just did, and it has its own equivalent. The way you have the naira to dollar, dollar to naira, and you what you mint. So as simple as that, you mint and you have done for the first phase. Then you can choose to once the mint is successful, you can uh, redeem. Or you will redeem. It's not about maybe they, they. That's what they expect from you. Yeah, they expect all these things from you. Look at their documentation. Yeah, it's all there. What they want you to do. Uh, they want you to mint. They want you to mint the USD. They want you to redeem your your DUSD. They want you to so let me just follow through this so you so you can understand it and you know just flow with the whole thing so um, i think i'm right here
Okay, nothing needs to actually worry you. It's quite not that complicated, even though it's a bit complicated, but it's not exactly complicated. You just need to perform the basic task and you're good to go. So I refresh my page, that's why I'm having this thing again, alright. So I have to uh, start all over. So alright, from my dApps, I have minted and I've redeemed, right? So if you, okay, I, I, I didn't redeem the whole time. So if I want to redeem, I put in the value or the amount I want to redeem and I redeem, it's, it's going to be successful. You can see I'm signing this uh, right now. So what the next thing to do on that uh, documentation, they want me to provide, um, they want me to supply, yeah, I'm going to supply and I'm going to withdraw, simple as that, so let me see what happens since there is not much again, let me see what's going to happen, let me just put a particular value here, so I just supply supply is more like fixing your money or anyhow they want to put it or whatever so and supply oh this is taking time than usual all right let me fasten all these things so that you can at least flow with it okay okay fine it has supplied so then uh if i want to withdraw i do the same thing all right all these things you don't even need to understand how to use the text though so the purpose of every airdrop is to make you interact with your with the system and you know fix some bugs for them and also get familiar with their decks or with any other thing that you have to offer but there is no time for that right now so that's why then the, main, the last part that you will be focusing on is the borrow and repay. You can see, you can borrow this particular amount, you can borrow and you repay. So just do all those things, as simple as that. So if you are having issue, kindly refer to this video again and again it is very easy to use it's one of the easiest and if you advise me or if i if, if you want me to advise you i will advise that in all you do make sure you get a yandex browser i was under recommended kiwi browser but trust me yandex browser has more flexibility and is lighter than kiwi so if you find this good enough for you you can decide to use yandex but if you are good with your kiwi that's all right so that's all we have right now that's all so if you are in you are in for the money <laughs> nothing else so cheers